What's going on YouTube? The Apophis here and welcome back to my channel. I usually don't do videos like this, but today I'm going to break my rules a little bit and I'm going to give like a super strict shout out to a channel that I think we can all benefit from, especially if you're just starting out on YouTube. This channel is a good way to get yourself out there and help propel your YouTube quote unquote career from the get go. The channel is Nerds Reloaded, and what it is is actually a community channel ran by a supporter slash friend slash guy that I watch on YouTube that I'm a fan of, um, newbie of duty. Him and a couple guys got together, and they just said, we're going to put together a community channel where the only requirement is that you're awesome, right? Like, they're not picky on what goes up. Their whole goal is is to run this community channel to get you out there to everybody. They're not in it for themselves. And I think that that's really cool that they, they took this, this different approach to it. Like a lot of community channels end up trying to become like sub networks that can partner people. And, and they do it so that they can make a little money and pay the staff that works on it. But these guys are doing it in a non-monetized platform. And they're just doing it to help you. So, if you're new, if you're old, if you've been doing this forever, and you just want, you know, to get your stuff out there to a few more people, go check out Nerds Reloaded. There's going to be a link in the description for their channel. Um, so, head on over and check it out. I'm going to link Newbie of Duty as well, just because I, <laughs> the guy is funny as can be. I enjoy his content. Let me just put it this way when it comes to him. Uh, if you like my Titty Tuesday series... He does one very similar with his wife, and uh, she gives him a hard time. I'm going to tell you that much. You think Ashley busts my balls? No, no, no. Uh, his wife definitely gives him a run for the money, and it's quite hilarious. So I think they mesh well together, too. So if you like Titty Tuesday, check that out. It's on his channel, Newbie of Duty. But ultimately, take your traffic over and just watch one or two videos from Nerds Reloaded. And think about it, it, you know, just really look it over. I'm not trying to tell you, oh, go sub to this channel because it's this, this everything, it's the shit. No, go check it out. Maybe send a message to him, talk to him, get to know some of the people over there. And I think you'll, worst time for host migration. I think that you'll find that it's a good place to, to network and just connect and make friends. So check them out before you decide whether or not you're going to stay. Because here's the thing, right? Because they're approaching it in the way that they're approaching it, they don't want you to just go over there, blindly hit that subscribe button, and never, ever, ever pay attention to anything that goes up on there. So only sub over there if it if it's something that you're interested in. For me, I like it. I'm sub to them. So, you know, I, I like to see the, the, the new YouTubers. I like to see, not that I'm a seasoned veteran or anything, but I just like to see smaller channels content and I think community channels like this is a great way it's actually a fantastic way for smaller channels to get the exposure because let's face it we're not showing up in the search bars and stuff like that but through our little inner network we get a decent amount of exposure they have a little over 550 subs right now at least at the time I'm making this and that's pretty good like I think they opened the channel like a month a month and a half ago so they're they're really cruising and growing and uh, I do know they're booked video-wise for the next couple weeks or so. But that doesn't mean that you can't get in. Anyway, enough about them. Head on over. Check them out. I'm sure you're not going to be disappointed. In the meantime, let's talk maps, man. It's uh, the 16th as I'm recording this. And I was up at like 2 in the morning to download the maps. Because I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get on there. I'm going to play some DLC. And I'm going to love my life. And I absolutely hated every bit of it to the T. I was ready to eat thumbtacks. I was just kind of hoping that the bullets that were in the game were real and they would just shoot me in the face to end my suffering, that which was Call of Duty. And uh, today's experience is a lot different. And I, I, what I think it is really is just in my time zone, I don't think there was a lot of people up playing. So I was suffering a lot of the bullshit that Call of Duty has to offer. The lag comp stuff, um, host migrations over and over just weird shit and i absolutely hate this game when that happens i it bugs the fuck out of me 100 percent and it, if i don't mind dying here's the thing i don't mind dying as long as i know i died because the guy was better than me that type of shit never makes me mad if i get outplayed outgunned fine when i die 
from some bullshit of the game, then it really bugs me. And that's what was happening to me all night long. So today I was like, look, there's more people on. I need to get some gameplay. People want to see these maps. And I want you to hear what I have to say. Do you see the catch? I know you want to see these maps. So I'm using these maps to get you to hear what I want to say. You see what I'm doing there? It's a little bit of manipulation. If you can't handle it, that sucks. Anyway, so I hop on today and I'm like, okay, let's see what's up. And it's a different experience. It's a lot better. It's a lot smoother. And I kind of got a good opinion on some of these maps. So let's go ahead and, and do a quick rundown on what I think about these maps. This one, Vertigo, I absolutely hated it last night. Tonight, however, I'm really liking the way it plays. It's really good uh, for the submachine gun, I think. I was doing well with it with the MSMC, which I haven't used since the game came out. So ugh, trying to get way back into things here. And uh, the map played really fun. There's... It's like you're playing on half the map, though. The left half, as we're looking at it right now, the left half is where all the action goes on. The right half, you're going to catch one or two random guys throughout there throughout the whole game. On occasion, I like to use it to run this little flank to get around the other side of the sliding doors there. Overall, though, this area that I'm in right now isn't very utilized. So it's pretty much half a map. At least for domination. In uh, demo, there's a bomb plant site over there, and obviously kill confirmed TDM. You're going to be using the whole map. So for demo, or I mean for dom though, it's just not quite cutting it. I I thought there was going to be more shit to fall off of. If you think about like what was it Overwatch and Modern Warfare 3, you fall off that map all over the place. And I thought that's what this was going to be like, and it really turned me off to it. But it turned out. That there's only like one or two small fucking spots that you can fall off of. The downfall of that is they, they made this map seem like you're going to get to do a lot of parkour on it. And there's one fucking spot to do that. So they kind of scammed us a little bit on that. They definitely overhyped this map. Moving on to studio. It's firing range. It's that simple. It's firing range with a different skin. Exactly like it's supposed to be. I personally like Firing Range, and I'm absolutely loving Studio. I love the new look to it. I like how the different, like, quadrants of the map, I guess. Like, there's, like, four different themes going on based on what corner you're in. I think that's really cool that it's themed differently um, based on the area you're in. None of it goes together, though. There's a fucking dinosaur uh, over by the A flag, and then there's, like, an uh, old western cart with two explosive barrels in it over by the sea flag and it's like that doesn't make any sense but that's okay because it it works i like i like the look i like it a lot it plays exactly how you expect it to um it can get boring though it gets voted more than any other map i'll tell you that much when you're in this dlc playlist studio comes up you're playing it you're playing it twice that's the way it is and it's getting a little boring i hate when people like wear the maps out and that's exactly what's going on with studio and I don't want it to because I really like it. It's one of my favorite maps, but it's just not not cutting it right now um, in the voting because everybody's voting it, and I'm just like, fuck, I'm sick of it. So hopefully, once these go into rotation, things like that will slow down. Magma. I thought this map was going to irritate me. When I, I hate maps that kill me, especially the gondolas in downhill because if you touch them while they're stopped, they kill you which is stupid. Um, I hate maps that kill me. I, I feel like there's enough shit going on in the game working against me already. I don't need the map to do it too. And in the trailer, just like they did with Vertigo, it made it look like there's a lot of places you could fall off. They made it look like there's a lot of places where lava would kill you. That's not the case. There's actually not that much lava on magma. There's like one big ass pool in the middle. And then the things that will kill you are incredibly obvious. They're really bright red. They're really bright orange. And they're typically a nice little pathway around them to where you wouldn't even have to fuck with it if you didn't want to so magma plays okay um i wish i could play it more i've only played it like two two and a half times i think one of them i quit because i was host i quit every time i'm host because i'm not going to be a step behind which is the way it feels in this game for me um i've only played it like two two and a half times i wish i could get more time on it but it turns out for me it's like studio and magma come up and you know which one gets voted so i would like to spend more time on magma the other one encore absolutely hated it last night i absolutely hated it tonight though or today i kind of really like it 
so far to me, this is, in all honesty, this is the best map pack I think we've seen from Call of Duty since Black Ops 1. In my opinion, all of the maps from Modern Warfare 3 were utter shit. Absolutely complete garbage. And, in my opinion, the map pack from Black Ops 1, or from the first map pack for this, pretty much shit. Only two of the maps are worth a damn to me. And that, well, I guess three. I don't know. Two and a half to three, depending on the day, right? I really like uh, Downhill. I really like Mirage, but Mirage never gets voted. See, so there's the issue with it. And Grind is okay. Like, I don't mind it, but it's not a favorite. And the other one, I don't even remember the name of it because I hate it so much. So I feel like, given the track record of map packs, this one, eh, you get an A. It's doing pretty good. I, I kind of like all four, and they're pretty smooth. So uh, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you got some excitement out of seeing this new map, Vertigo, here a little bit. Hopefully my thoughts resonate a little bit. I'd love to hear what you have to say about the DLC, especially if you have it. Sorry, I have no review on the zombies. I'm not a zombies player, and you're not going to find that here. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic day. All right, guys, there's two videos on your screen that you might have missed. I'm going to do something that I never do, and I'm going to spill the beans. I'm going to tell you exactly what two videos are up there. The one on the left is Titty Tuesday. You're definitely going to want to watch it. Here's the thing, though. This video is long. It's like 20 minutes. It's a long time, okay? But what happened is we got, a, we got on a topic, and it just kept going. We ran with it, and I said, fuck it. Let's not stop. Let's keep going because this is going good. So we did, and we cut it where it stopped. And uh, it probably could have went longer between the two of us, but Ashley had to go to work, and we hit the 20-minute mark, and I don't like to keep you around longer than that. I don't think that you pay attention that long, I guess. I, I don't know. I just don't like to keep you long. Anyway, it's long. It's good. It's fun. The other reason we made it long is we scammed you guys last week, so you got like two episodes in one. The video on the right is going to be my thoughts on North Korea. A lot of people have asked me about my thoughts on North Korea. Um, I wish this video had more views, and that's why it's up there. And I don't wish it had more views for any kind of monetary or YouTube reasons like that. It's just I feel like the way that I look at it is really important, um, at least to me. And it's not what you expect me to say, I don't think. So I think that it's a really good video for you to watch. It's very entertaining. And it's a lot shorter than 20 minutes, so please click the one on the right if you're interested in my take on North Korea. Also, big yellow subscribe button in the top right-hand corner. Apparently, it's not big enough, depending on who you ask, but I think it's just fine. So, click the yellow subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Follow me on Twitter to find out what's going on. Hey, if you guys want a game together, tweet me. Tweet me what you want to play, and if I have it, and if I'm available, we'll get together and we'll play. That's the best way to, to get a hold of me, and I would love to uh, get some gaming sessions in with you guys. So, thank you all so much for stopping by. Your views truly, absolutely mean everything to me. Keeps me motivated to keep doing this, and uh, I hope you all have a super fantastic day. Don't stick your foot under a tire, because when the car rolls over, it's going to hurt. Probably break your leg.